Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalist 4. I am Lord Forwind here playing as the Naj that is slowly being overcome by rebels. I must have like 200,000 rebels I'm having to deal with right now. It's kind of disgusting. Um, I had to accept some autonomy which has killed my economy. Um, I mean it's slowly ticking down the places I accepted autonomy in but it's pretty painful. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm also not going to lie that I have a serious rebel issue. Um, but we are slowly suppressing them. We have no manpower. I can't really afford to hire mercenaries either offhand. And they are actually getting really close to getting their independence in some cases. They're like 38% of the way there. Our Indonesian islands have fallen to peasants. Luckily, our core provinces of both Persia and Egypt are pretty good. I need to suppress that stack. Okay, another rebel stack squashed. These guys and their uh, mercenaries are really my only... Uh, standing army at the moment. The others are really weak. Please win that. Please win. Please win. Please win. Okay, that actually worked out better than I thought it would. Those rebel stacks pretty much just killed themselves. What do I take? Really? This is the issue. I kind of want to take the manpower modifier to try and get the regen because I'm 55,000 manpower in debt. At the same time, though, the income losses are huge. Plus, we're still colonizing, which means I'm having those separatists pop up. Oh, shoot. I can't really safeguard the realm with that money yet. Finish off that stack. I think I've pretty much suppressed every single possible rebel group up here. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any other ones I could possibly have to suppress. It's really just down to the Congo region. You know what, I'm going to do what I do sometimes to suppress large amounts of rebel groups quickly, raise to Mercenary units set them to occupy provinces. Still so much conversion to be done. The loss of piety hurt a bit too. Not gonna lie on that one either. That was painful. How many more separatists? Not a lot. Let's actually strengthen government. There we go. That suppressed those rebel groups. We also had pretty annoyingly low legitimacy, which was hurting. The English in particular keep uh, sabotaging or sowing discontent in my country, which is an issue. Okay, free one stability I'll take. Okay, I need to bring this army down, I think. Except for that tiny band of separatists that have some chorus on, we're pretty good. What's my force limit? Okay, just wanted to make sure I wasn't over my force limit because that would explain my immense losses of money. It looks like for the moment I'm actually stable. Although I do not have the troops to either kill those or retake my islands. I'm hoping this these guys will help. That's not good. Uh but oh shoot. I didn't mean to do that. What are we looking at for rebels? Okay, we've reined in most of the separatist rebels for the moment. These guys have to suppress those. 
still losing large amounts of money quickly. Okay, that'll stabilize my economy for a little while. Part of the issue is both the corruption needing to be dealt with and the, uh, not the, well, obviously from the extension, which is hurting. I'm having to put a lot of money towards that. In fact, I almost should, yeah, cut out some of the money towards it. But also, just in general, the loss of the Indonesian islands are hurting my income from trade, too. I think that's a fair statement. Um, we're just making 33 gold from trade, though. I don't think I can up that any higher. Okay. Almost there. That stack, sh stack should be killable. Ooh, I'm going to take that unrest, actually. Consort of the people should help some. Okay, now that that rebel stack's dealt with... I think that's all our rebel stacks, actually. Except for the ones on the Indonesian islands. Okay, we've almost converted all of Persia. We're at 360 in terms of provinces, so at least for now we haven't collapsed. That province just finished getting colonized. 258. Still losing money, but it's not as bad as it was. And I obviously have to ship over some units to deal with Indonesian people, but... Okay, we are still ahead of time in Diplotech, so let's do some more culture converting. Sorry if this is not the most entertaining stuff, but if I can rein in some of these very rebellious cultures, all the better. Let's actually do an expensive one. Another Somali one. What's the most expensive one? 151 Somali province. <sighs> I kind of need to get to this religious idea and get further down that tree some. But... Oops. Lundin. Lundin separatists are up there now. Okay, they're on their way to stop them. I should see about threatening for more land for Malacca, I think. It is if anyone is threatenable. You are, okay. Can't threaten more with these guys because I have a truce with them until this December. Okay, fair enough. Can't threaten Brunei, they don't actually have any land. Something just happened in Europe. Some empire just collapsed. Is that Austria that lost the fight, or...? Hmm... Trier, maybe? I'm trying to see who would have occupied these provinces. Maybe Mainz collapsed, actually, looking at it. It looks like Mainz collapsed. Interesting. Sheesh, it takes a long time to convert Coptic provinces in this game. I mean, clearly it's intentional, but it's still a pain to have to convert them all. Okay. Our overextension is almost completely dealt with. Our economy is still broke because of those rebels in Indonesia. Our armies are, how are we doing debt-wise? Hey, we've only, we're down to 36.5 thousand troops in debt, so that's progress. Now Kiva is calling me to help in a war versus Delhi. Oh my gosh. I don't have any troops. Oh. Kiva wants those lands. I'll say I want Delhi's core provinces here. Oops. 
Anything I can get on the border would be nice. I'll accept, but I don't have any troops to send, which is the issue. Can maybe send like one army up that way once they're done with these rebels. Oh shoot, where are you off to? I need to keep an eye on my 40-something stack army, because those are going to what I need to use to retake Indonesia, probably. Um, I could get another military tech level, which would be useful. At the same time, also hitting the uh, reduced land maintenance cost would be nice. It's going to be a while, though. At least all these provinces should be loyal for the time being. Yeah, I can't promote any more culture, so the best I can do is keep converting. More annoyingly is some of these cheap ones keep popping up again because I lost them to rebels. Okay. There we go. Time to move my ships down. I think, and send these ar this army off to reconquer Indonesia. They're dealing with that. Where is my other army? Ah, once they take that, they're going to go attack Delhi. Off to Delhi you go. I don't know how many... Delhi does not have that many troops. Okay. Actually, since we're at war, let's raise war taxes. What else do we have here? Um, hmm. I think artillery bonus versus forts would be the most useful. I need to start another war soon. Sadly, I've just recovered from the last one. Although, if I could get some of Delhi's provinces, that would be nice. Pragmatic sanction. Huh. Guess they actually have some imperial authority. Attack that next July. Fair enough. Nope. When can I attack you? Uh, we've actually kind of caught up in tech to you. I could probably attack you once my army rebuilds. I know that would be a massive war, Andalusia and Mali, but... I could restrain it all. Move you to the coast... You know, I think I'm going to move my level 3 general to this army. I don't know why I didn't do it earlier. It seems kind of stupid in retrospect. But it saved me lots of troops. Okay. Retake them, then I'll retake the upper Malakas. We're making money again, which is also good. I don't need that fort there. That's totally useless. Don't need that fort there. It's level 6 anyway. It's expensive. To be honest, most of my forts are dirt cheap level 2 forts, except for these ones up here on the border. Okay, let's boost opinions of the Ottomans since they're starting to get a little annoyed with me. Still got discontent issues. Free Diplo power, nice. Wish there was a way to automate this. Rather than having to go through the entire list and find them. Okay, let's see how the culture is doing, actually, now that I've converted some. Um, it's taken over this Somalian region pretty quickly, actually. Of course, it's somewhat expensive because I'm not, like, combining native cultures. I'm trying to take all of the, uh, convert them all to one culture. I don't think I need regiment cost. I don't think that would help. 12, 000, uh, 21,000 more troops needed. Not too bad. Uh, ships are mostly on their way there. Okay.
I burn them at the stake. I know I don't like doing that, but it gets me that additional piety, which at this point is useful. And we'll send you to suppress that island, which you should do pretty well. Oh, we just took a deli for it really quickly. Wow. Okay. I think once I have 400 admin power, I am going to do this next religious idea. Um, yeah. You have a long way to go to rebuild. Fair enough. Wait a second. Oh, because I had ships there, this army was able to vault islands. Almost makes me want to put like a single transport ship in each of these oceans. That is interesting. I didn't know the AI was smart enough to cross channels to suppress rebels. I guess you learn something new every time you play. That's cool, but weird. <sighs> really wish I had higher absolutism. Alas. Scandinavian Brazil, that's a new one. Tech handled. We're now ahead in Miltech, which is good. It might be time to swim over and do admin tech now. Or admin uh, points. Not going to be able to pay off that loan for ages, though, sadly. Um, if they can cross islands to suppress rebels, if I put my ships there, it should automatically go up and take the Philippines back. Should be nice. Also, I will raise a single mercenary regiment and do the same thing. I could attack Persia now. Okay. It's good to know. I'm trying to occupy all the provinces along Kiva's border here with Delhi. Hoping they don't have the uh, unrestricted coring distance. move this army up here to deal with Persia. I can attack Ethiopia in eight years. Okay. And then next month, after this month, we will have another missionary, which will be useful. little bit faster conversion of these provinces. Six, six, six missionaries with 8.5 conversion speed and I still am having conversion issues. It's a bit crazy. Okay, how's my island suppression going? Huh, they somehow got stuck in my ships to suppress rebels. Oh well. They're on the move. Coptic faith is falling pretty quickly in that region now. Dead general, great. Pretty good general actually now. More culture conversion. Um, yeah, I can afford to do some more culture conversion, I guess. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to convert the Ethiopian or Midri bar in religion areas for quite some time. That'll rain in some of the Kurds, which is an issue. On my border. 
Okay, slowly eating away at these cultures. I really should almost focus a single culture group and eliminate it at a time, but... Oops. Oh, it was a one unit defeat. Peasants fall really easily. They're just annoying. Okay. Um, I really should dock these ships, shouldn't I? They did suffer uh, attrition from sailing here. Sadly, since I, they don't seem to want to sail this way, they always suffer attrition. Ottomans look happy. It's good to know. I don't think I'm going to be able to threaten any of these provinces. But I'll check it out. I might be able to threaten for more of Malacca's lands. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. No, oh, because I'm at war. Duh. Okay. That would explain why I can't do it. I'm at war. Apparently, Kiva is having some serious issues with uh, some of the Delhi's, Delhi's provinces. Um, I think I might actually do that. Take some of Delhi's provinces and at peace out of the war because that's going to take a while to core but luckily it's already Sunni so even though I'm going to have unrest it's not going to be the worst level of it Kiva is really unhappy with me that's fine with me actually honestly if Kiva broke their alliance with me it would be nice on the other hand then I wouldn't Still not be able to attack them because they're allied to the Ottomans, but... I don't know. In a fight between me and the Ottomans now, I wonder who'd win. Oh, they'd win. They have twice the manpower and twice the force limit I do, but... I'm doing better. I'm doing better. Slowly but surely. The issue truly was that I started off really poor. Uh, let's threaten for land first before I get into any more wars. Or not, apparently I can't threaten for land. Can't threaten them, can't threaten them, can't threaten them. Hmm. Okay, well then I guess I will just outright attack Persia for the moment. Pick up those like three or four provinces they have. I think it's three, yeah. Three provinces. Every province is worth it. We're up to 370 almost. And we still have 80 years of gameplay, so we're growing, I won't say as fast as I'd like to, but we're growing fairly fast. Sadly, we lost a lot of diplomatic power for. Uh, kind of traitorously taking land in war with Kiva, but... Oh, let's just fire on that. I don't want to deal with all those. The natives are slowly being suppressed, sadly. Very slowly. Afford a level. I'll do level three. I need the admin power truly. My spy in the Austrians has gotten sidetracked again. When do I get enough favors? Oh, actually, I have enough favors with the Ottomans to call them into another war. Hmm. Do I want to do a war in West Africa or do I want to do a war in India? That is a real question. I'm thinking I want to do East uh, West Africa because um, there won't be as large of a coalition that could form against me. Got to core all these lands though. 
Oh. Looks like Delhi lost some. Yeah, they were forced to release some nations. Fair enough. I'm thinking I'll make a client state here and feed it this region. I'm pretty sure client states count towards my province count. Not entirely sure. Um, yeah, right there, I guess. It doesn't really make much difference which provinces here I colonize. I just need to colonize them. At least our colonization speed's reasonable. Is that a level 8 fort? No, it's a level 6 fort on a mountain with defensive. No wonder. There we go. That should be it for Persia. And then if I can strip them of all or as many of cores as possible. And then all the cash you can hand over. There we go. Nay, hey, we're looking like a big name finally. It's good to know. Um, I think I'll end this video here then. And next video I might invade West Africa. We'll see. West Africa or India. Um, we'll see how it actually works out. I really do want to get into West Africa. Uh, yet at the same time, I don't know if I want to get involved in the size of the wars I would be in over here. Um, distant war, great. They wouldn't join there, I don't think. If I were to attack here, distant war, 3,000 in debt. You know, the Ottomans are having some issues, <laughs> it looks like. Hmm... Your Khan, subject state of Mongyang, which is a tribute. It's not a tributary state of the Ming. How are they not a tributary state of the Ming? Sorry. I guess they're large enough. That's weird. Hmm. Okay, well, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.